Okay, so now we're going to talk about the other senses. So in the previous videos, I talked about vision and hearing. And so now we're going to talk about the other things. Cruz, can you say hi? Can you wave? Can you say hi? Yeah, not really, huh? You can hold your hand higher so they can see it. Say hi. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so for the other senses, we're going to start with olfaction. Olfaction is your sense of smell. Um, sometimes they'll use those terms, like not smell, but they might use olfaction, and you should just know the other terms. So olfaction is a chemical sense. The chemicals go up into your nose and they get caught up in um, the hairs at the very top of your nose. And really, you just need to know that it's a chemical sense. Um, you might need to know the olfactory bulb, which is up here, which takes that message to your brain, but that's probably it. Okay, so then we've got gustation, and this is your taste. Um, this is also another chemical sense where whatever you're tasting is on your tongue, and the um, papillae, those are the little, the little like bumps that you see on your tongue. They have taste buds in them, and so you can see the taste buds are here, and this is what it looks like, but that's where the like the chemical gets down into the parts of the tongue and those are processed and then taken on to the brain to be understood. Um, another term that might come up is sensory interaction and that's just where we are using multiple senses and they're interacting for us to understand um, and perceive that, that sensation. So for example, when you're tasting, it's really a combination of smell also. If you take away your smell, you're more than likely probably not going to taste that um, food that you're eating. And so it's it's the combination of, of taste and smell. And we've actually found that, that it's a combination of things. Even hearing affects how you taste. And even the sight of what you're looking at affects what you think you're tasting. Okay, touch has several different types. We've got pressure, we've got um, pain, and temperature. And so um, touch is anything on your skin. You've got receptors on your skin. And the one thing that you really need to know with touch is the gate control theory. And the gate control theory basically just says all of those things are going through the same channel pressure and temperature and pain and so because if you have some kind of pain usually if you put pressure on it you don't feel the pain or if you put something like an ice pack on it, it it takes away the pain and the explanation for that is the gate control theory that since they're all going through the same channel that the idea is that pain goes last and so pressure will go first or temperature will go first and so you don't feel that pain until you take it away because pain takes like the back seat Okay, so it's usually known that you have five senses, but you really have two more. So we've got the kinesthetic sense, which is finding and knowing and understanding where your body parts are without using your eyes. So you could point to your nose without having to use your eyes, or you could point to your eye or your ear and you don't need to see them to know where they are. We'll see if Cruz can do it. Hey Cruz, where's your nose? Good job! Okay, so Cruz found her nose. That's just your ability to know where your body parts are without seeing them. You know they're there and you don't have to look at them. Then we've got the vestibular sense. This is your understanding of balance and that actually is happening in your semicircular canals in your ear. So vestibular has a B in it and so that's what helps me remember balance. This is your relation, your body's relation to the world your sense of balance. Okay, so then we've got synesthesia. This is very rare. This is when somebody is getting a sensation and for some reason in the brain it's connected to another. And so they're perceiving one sensation as two. And so this might look like somebody hearing uh, some kind of sound and different pitches have different colors that they see in their visual field. Or maybe they're tasting, um, um, you know, a carrot, and as they taste that carrot in their visual field, they start to see blue. And it's so it's just where there are two sensations that in the brain are, are, are for some reason they're connected. You see or you hear or you taste or you feel it, but in your brain it's interpreting it with something else. So um, maybe that is, um, you know, 
hearing a pitch and seeing a color or tasting something when you hear a different sound. Okay, and that's it for other sensations. Um, really, the what you need to know in depth are vision and hearing, and those are in some other videos I have. Make sure you check those out. But you just kind of need to know the basics of the other parts of, of sensation. Okay, um, let me know if you have any questions about those.